Okay. Tell me about the meeting today, and in general, yeah. where we are today, yeah. where we stand today. Uh, thank you. Where we start today, where we stand today, is the following. First, we have formally signed the agreement, which was initial on 9 June uh, 2008. So the agenda will start ticking, you know, the deadline for UN troop, for Ethiopian withdrawal, for the establishment of the committees. Second, and it is very important for me, we have a number of committees under Article 8 of the agreement, Joint Security Committee and High Level Committee. Both committees, composed each of 15 members, have met. They have worked in a very cooperative and successful manner in the presence of representative of the UN permanent member of Security Council and Arab country. So this is where we are. We are starting the implementation. And this makes it different from previous agreement. But it is not over. Somalia has been devastated by civil conflict for almost 20 years. We have to keep pushing with Somali, political leader, military, business community, especially NGOs, and all Somali and their friends. The war has not started in December 2006. So to blame everything on American, on Ethiopian, and to say Somali leadership is not responsible, to me, should not be accepted. This being said, uh, the presence of Ethiopian troop makes, uh, has become divisive in many quarters in Somalia. The agreement of uh, Djibouti make a provision for Ethiopian withdrawal. That withdrawal will take place and will take place sooner than later. But it will not end the violence. Signing an agreement is not the end of the violence. But the beginning of telling people to stop armed confrontation. And I am confident uh, that Ethiopians would withdraw because many of them are not interested in staying. They think there is no reason for them to be there. They think they have to leave. And it will be a big challenge for Somali what will happen if Ethiopians withdraw. Would they be in peace? What would be an excuse to fight? Priority should be to make a security arrangement in a very, very urgent manner to help these people who have been displaced to return to their home, to return to have a minimum security, a minimum dignity. And this is, to me, the priority of the priorities. We have to do it. I think I am the first representative of the UN, maybe the first international, as soon as I came, I said, we have to do something for impunity. People, in any case, will respond before God of what they have done. But they also have, in my opinion, to respond before men of a crime violence, destruction they have done. In Article 9 of the Djibouti Agreement, there is mention of justice and reconciliation. I plan to organize a meeting in agreement with Somali early next year to discuss problem of impunity. We have two choices. Either Somali opt for South African solution, which is also Chile, which is also Guatemala. And they said, we opt for truth and reconciliation. People recognize what they have done and ask pardon. We may also ask for international justice. 
special tribunal for Somalia, like for Yugoslavia, like for Rwanda, or criminal court for some crime against humanity. But this should be a decision by Somalia. They have to samoh, pardon, or to go to international. But we cannot ignore crime committed for the struggle of power against women, children, and innocent people. Yeah.